welcome to another Mad for War tutorial. This video explains how a ship is affected by the wind. The wind is the single most important factor influencing any battle at sea. The wind is the only power source for most ships. Ships don't have brakes and unless they're tied to something, they're going to be moving. Without wind, ships can't move. With too much wind, things become very dangerous. The position of a ship relative to the direction of the wind governs its speed and its performance. This can actually prove to be quite challenging and also is part of the fun of the game because you can never exactly predict where your ship will end up relative to the ships that it's fighting or the ships that are accompanying it. Some naval gaming rules make this quite complex. Mad for War attempts to make things as realistic as possible without giving you a headache. I'm going to explain the four basic orientations of the wind to a vessel and from there we'll understand exactly how your ships can move and fight in a game of Mad for War. We'll begin with the wind directly behind the ship. Now you might think that this is the best place to have the wind because it will make the ship go faster. Having the wind behind the ship is not in fact the best or most advantageous position. If the wind was strong it could put a strain on the masts and the sails and this could be pretty dangerous. If the wind is directly behind the ship, the ship is running. It will not go at its fastest rate when it is running. Let's remain with the wind behind the ship but coming from either the left hand side or the right hand side. This is the most advantageous position for the wind. Ships with the wind in this position are known as broad reaching. This provides the optimum speed level for any ship. When the wind is ahead of a ship, it doesn't mean that the ship can't move. It really depends on the orientation of the wind relative to the direction the ship wants to travel. Let's look at the wind coming from the front left, the larboard side, or the front right, which is the starboard side. This orientation of the wind is called close hauled or close hauling. The ship is sailing into the wind, but not directly into the wind. And the speed for this position is the same as the running speed when the wind is directly behind the ship. The final wind position is if the wind is directly in front of the ship. Ship's sails are designed to catch the maximum amount of wind and propel it forward. So when that wind is pressing on the same surface area from the front, it's likely to hold the ship in position or actually push it back. The technical term for this is being in irons, which means the ship cannot move forward. Now there are ways round about that, but we'll come to those a little bit later. You now have a fundamental understanding of the wind relative to your ship, and you should be able to sail, so let's get going.